Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm finally going to start stripping the paint on my current wheels so that we can get started on painting them. Uh, the condition of this paint is horrible. Um, it's not painted properly, it wasn't prepped properly so the paint's lifting, there are little chips everywhere and uh, yeah it's got multiple layers of paint on it so Firstly, when using paint stripper, you've got to, you've got to know that it's really dangerous, it's carcinogenic, um, it'll damage everything it touches basically, so make sure you're wearing gloves, a respirator, and that you mask off your tyres. First, what you're going to do is scuff up the paint in the area that you're applying your stripper to, and this is just to give it something to bite into. And there we have it, that is one wheel. The result of hours and hours of labor and time spent on just this one wheel. Um, and it's really only just the face of the wheel, not the barrel, as you can see. There's still, uh, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, there's still paint in here. Uh, I had grand dreams of stripping that and clearing the whole thing, but it's just not gonna happen. Um, the amount of labor that has gone into this is not reflected in the finish and uh, I knew that this was going to be a huge task when I undertook it but I didn't realize it was going to be this big. It's reached a point where I can only actually afford to do two of these wheels now um, because I won't have time before uni resumes. So it's pretty disheartening. This is the part of the video where I admit to having bitten off more than I can chew and it's not fun when that happens, but I do understand it's just, it's a part of, you know, undertaking jobs like this on your car uh, without the right equipment and tools. The appropriate course of action would have been to take the tires off and just go get it sandblasted. But I kind of wanted to do all of this myself, or at least try. And with the current lockdown restrictions and the five kilometer radius in place, it actually made sense to try do it myself first. This has had so many coats of paint stripper applied, hours with a, both a plastic and a metal scraper. It's been through a, a lot of pressure wash cycles. Uh, it's been sanded painstakingly by hand because the sander I bought, um, you know, although it's great for the surface, it's actually horrible because it can't get in between the spokes and it's also pretty bad for the, the lip, so it's only really useful for the face. Um, I bought it anyway because I want to do more paint stuff on my car that involves flat surfaces, but it's not ideal for the wheel, which meant that I had to, to cut up little squares of 240 grit sandpaper. As you can see, they're just kind of littering the area. Yeah, so that's where we're at. There you have it, that is two out of four wheels now stripped. So the other two wheels, I plan on finishing or actually starting the next opportunity I get, which will be in a few months time when the holidays come around. Uh, I'm going to separate the wheels from the tires and get them professionally sandblasted because this whole ordeal has taught me that paint stripper is just not worth it, especially in my situation. The paint stripper, 
is a very toxic carcinogenic chemical um, that you shouldn't really be exposed to for prolonged periods of time and I spent a long time exposed to those fumes because of the fact that I had three layers to eat through and after all that all I have to show for it are two wheels with the surface stripped and even then not super well if that makes sense. Now this obviously stems from the fact that I had to get my wheels stripped. Most of you won't have to um, because if you have a good layer of paint currently on the wheels, um, either your factory paint or a professional job, all you have to do is scuff that surface back and then shoot your base coat and your clear coat because you already have a good foundation. So ultimately, don't do it. It's so not worth it. But that being said, I'm going to soldier on and I'm going to try get these two wheels painted despite them not being prepped super well. Um, but the other two wheels will be taken uh, to a professional sandblasted properly so that I'll have a nice strong foundation to start on. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you on the next one. Say you bang. You say you